Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me again today. For those who are new here today, joining me for the first time, my name is Helen and today I'm going to talk to you about dressing for my body shape. Okay, so what is my body shape? The thing is, we don't all fit under one defined body shape that, you know, gives us, you know, uh, guidelines on what will or won't suit or flatter our body. A lot of the time, it's trial and error, just trying different cuts, different styles, and actually seeing what, what flatters us most. Now, until recently, I had thought that I was an apple shape. So that's someone who carries weight um, in their midsection, um, someone who has a larger bust, doesn't have uh, much of a waist, a flat butt, slim legs. But I'm now thinking I'm a combination of two body types. And the other one is an inverted triangle. So someone with an inverted triangle body shape has very broad shoulders and I've often been asked throughout my life whether I had ever been a swimmer. Now maybe in a past life but not in this one, um, but I do have very broad shoulders. So broad shoulders, a very large bust, no defined waist, narrow hips once again and slim legs so you know your body shape actually you look like an upside down um, triangle so i'm thinking that i'm probably a combination of both so today i want to share with you what i have found suits my apple cum inverted triangle body shape now that's not to say that if I find a garment that I absolutely fall in love with and it doesn't fall within these guidelines that I won't wear it. I will and I do, but I won't look as good in it. And that is in my opinion. So you be the judge. So first up, let's talk dresses. Now, often when we, you know, read up on body shapes and what suits my particular apple inverted body shape we're often told that empire line dresses are what suit our body i personally disagree because for my particular body empire lines are very unflattering first of all they don't well, 99% of the time they will not sit under the bust um, where they're supposed to sit. They often sit across the bust. So instead of sitting at my the smallest part of my body, they're actually sitting at my widest part. So what they're actually in fact doing is making me look bigger all over. I, I look like I'm wearing a tent. So if I go up a size, it's still not going to sit properly. It's just going to hang and then I'll have copious amounts of fabric um, from the, the bus down. So personally, I find that Empire Line dresses don't suit my body. I find that if I create a waistline a little lower that gives me more shape and it actually is more um, slimming and more flattering now in this dress even though this is a very light colored dress um, and I generally feel a, a lot more comfortable in darker colors because the waistline is lower and it's giving me the illusion of having a waistline and I don't have a waistline and I'm very short waisted too. So it's a lot more flattering than the empire line dress on my particular body. 
someone with a smaller bust would, would do look fabulous in empire line dresses but having such a big bust they unfortunately don't work for me another dress style that is often recommended for apple shaped bodies and particularly women with heavier busts is a wrap dress now I bought this particular dress a while ago and I love it. It was the colors in it, I think that attracted me. And I've never worn it. I have never actually worn it because I find that wrap dresses actually emphasize my bust. And dresses are very tricky for me because as some of you probably already know, I am three sizes uh, bigger in the chest than I am in the hips so dresses aren't an easy fit for me and I find that these wrap dresses emphasize my bust so much that they make me look even more disproportionate than I already do and even in this brown dress and oh God, I wanted to love this dress and I do I just don't love it on me um, I like it because it fits so well from the waist down and it's actually so flattering and it emphasizes the fact that you know I'm not as big in that area and that little bit of ruching on the waist uh, also hides a few sins so beautiful I love that dress from the waist down but from the waist up I just look Huge. I look so disproportioned um, to the rest of my body so although they are recommended for for women with my body shape and and for, for women with a bigger bust I personally don't feel comfortable uh, in wrap dresses because I feel in my opinion on my body they're not flattering at all so the question is, what dress style do I find flattering on my body shape? Well, I find that a straight cut shift style dress looks way more flattering on my body shape than the previous styles we, we were discussing. Now, obviously something not clingy something that's flowy as you can see in this dress even though it is quite straight it's not clinging to my body I still have room and the fabric is beautiful it just drapes so beautifully and I can wear it as is just as a shift dress or I can add the matching belt that came with it um, to give me a little bit of a waist or I can add another belt if I want to and I think that it looks equally as flattering either way with or without the belt and the other thing is the v-neck now the, a v-neck or a square neck or some type of scoop neck uh, breaks up the size of my bust and I find that also very flattering and it actually um, you know brings the attention up to your decolletage in your face so even wearing you know a lovely necklace or you know big statement earrings will always draw the attention away from the part of your body that you find um, the most unflattering or the widest and draw it up in, up to your face so that is the the most flattering style I find a simple shift dress and low necklines not too low mind you just a V neckline or a square neckline um, because round necklines or high necklines make me look bigger and boxier now if you've got a, a bigger bust you can probably relate to that and if you wear anything that's crew necked you're going to look bigger in the bust and it'll give you a boxier shape so that's not to say I don't wear high neck items I do but I break them up with either a necklace 
or you know in the warmer months a pretty scarf just something that will break up the size of your chest and will look way more flattering now moving on to tops once again as with the dresses any top that is empire lined or peplum style is a huge no for me once again it doesn't sit where it should it sits at the widest part of my body just on my bust and makes me look so wide especially side on so so unflattering and I don't own any peplum design dress or top I actually borrowed this top um, to demonstrate the fact that it it doesn't look any good on, on my body shape the other type of top that doesn't look good on on someone who's um, bigger busted is a crop top and you've probably all seen some previous videos where I've tried a few crop tops on and one in particular was an absolute disaster I couldn't even get it down far enough to cover my bust so they emphasize the fact that you know I'm so much bigger from the waist up and emphasize the fact that I'm so disproportioned so crop tops are, are a big no-no as well so I find the tops that are a longer line top something that sits on or just below my hip line is way more flattering on my body shape it actually elongates me so you know because of the fact that I'm short-waisted it just makes my torso look a little bit longer and is way way more flattering than a crop top and also as with dresses once again wearing tops with a, a v-neck or a square neck or a scoop neck that is also more flattering because once again it will break up the size of my bust now yes once again I do wear high neck crew neck tops but as you'll see these tops make me look very very boxy but I can break that up once again with a, a, a necklace if you wear a long necklace that breaks the bust up or even wearing a cardigan or a jacket opened over the top also breaks up the size of my bust and I find that with cardigans and, and jackets they look much more flattering open uh, if they're done up once again they they make me look bigger and boxier so yeah we can still wear those high high neck tops uh, they're not quite as flattering um, but if we break them up with a, a you know a, a, a nice necklace or a little vest or, or cardigan um, it does uh, give an elongating effect and does minimize the size of a bigger bust so we're now moving on to jeans and pants now I love all styles of jeans and pants whether they're skinny boot leg, wide leg, straight leg, I love them all. But they're not all as flattering on my body shape. Now what I find for my body shape, skinny jeans are actually uh, one style that is more flattering on me. Um, and that's because I do have the narrow hips and the slimmer legs. And so they're emphasizing uh, the smaller uh, more flattering part of my body so I, I feel very comfortable in skinny leg jeans the other style that I find suits my body shape is the flared or bootleg style pant and that's because that style actually it balances my wide shoulders so I find it very very flattering and also with being so much smaller from the waist down that's uh, more flattering as far as you know patterns and and the lighter colors go um, and wearing more block colors 
or darker colors from the waist up. Um, so for instance, I would feel a lot more comfortable in a white pair of pants and a black top than I would in a black pair of pants and a white top. So um, wide leg pants or jeans, I love and own those as well. But for my body shape, they're not as flattering. I still wear them because they're so damn comfortable. <laughs> but they're not as flattering as the skinny or bootleg style. Now skirts. One style skirt that doesn't suit me in the least is a gathered waist skirt. I bought this skirt without trying it on and needless to say I've never worn it because it makes me look so much bigger from the waist down than I actually am. So what it does, apart from making me look so wide, it emphasizes the fact that I don't have a waist because it's not cinching me in because there's, there's nothing to cinching basically. And it's also emphasizing the fact that I'm so short waisted and it's just making me look like one huge cube no, never going to happen, never going to wear that skirt. <laughs> so what I find more flattering for my body shape is an A-line or straight line skirt. Once again, as with the jeans, uh, it emphasizes the more a flattering part of my body. And I find that wearing... A knee length skirt or a skirt that is just above the knee is a lot more flattering on me too and it draws attention to my legs which are more flattering than my top half and I also find that wearing nude colored shoes also helps because it helps they help to elongate your legs and they make you look you know longer and leaner so that's another little little trick. And they go with everything. You can wear nude shoes with, with any coloured um, garment. So uh, nude shoes, that's another little tip. So in summary, what I find is more flattering for my body shape, in my opinion, firstly, wear fabrics that drape and avoid clingy fabrics. Second, draw the attention away from the widest part of your body. So in my instance, it would be wearing V-neck or square neck tops with um, a nice necklace or earrings, drawing the attention to my decolletage and face and away from my bust. Also, wearing skirts that are, are narrow and that are knee length, drawing the attention to my legs and once again, away from the widest part of my body. Nude coloured shoes will always elongate your legs and your body and make you longer and leaner. And I find that the most flattering pair of pants for my body shape, being an apple or an inverted triangle, are flared or bootleg pants because they balance my wide shoulders or the widest part of my body. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video and you've found it um, helpful in some way. If you have any tips that um, help you please leave them in the comments below i'd love to um, i'd love for you to share them with me um, and just remember look we can all wear whatever we like whatever um, style we don't have to follow strict guidelines i've just shared my tips and my opinions today as to what suits my body shape and what i find more flattering because that 
they are the clothes and the styles and the cuts that help me feel more comfortable and confident. So if you did enjoy today's video, please give it the thumbs up and please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know next time I upload a new video. So in the meantime, have a wonderful, wonderful week. Stay safe. I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.